Today, I'm going to talk to you about a phrase that maybe you've heard before. I'm going to talk to you about it from James chapter 4, verse 17. And the phrase is this, just do it. All right, here's our verse for the day. James chapter 4, verse 17. Therefore, to him who knows to do good and does not do it, to him it is sin. Now, previously in James chapter 4, James dealt with some pretty big and spiritual themes. Things like judging others, being humble instead of being presumptuous, and how to draw near to God and how to resist the devil. Now, he brings this section to a close with a simple challenge to live according to what we know in the Lord. And the statement is straightforward enough. To him who knows to do good and does not do it, to him it is sin. James knew that it's far easier to think about and to talk about humility and dependence on God and all those other things than it is to actually live them. Yet James made the mind of God plain. As we know these things, we are accountable to do them. Here, James returned to his consistent theme through his letter, the idea that genuine faith is proved by action. You might have a great opinion of God's word. You could even be skilled in memorizing or interpreting it. Yet at the end of the day, the question can still be asked, do you do it? Because if you know to do good and do not do it, then it is sin. There's another important aspect that connects with what James wrote before this. In the previous passage, James reminded us of the uncertainty of life and how we should not make our plans without a humble dependence upon God. Yet here, James wants to remind us that this humility should not create fear that makes us passive or inactive. The uncertainty of life should make us ready to recognize what is good and then to do it. If we see the good to do and then do not do it, to him it is sin. Jesus told a story with much the same point in Luke chapter 12, verses 41 through 48. The story was about servants and how they obeyed their master in their master's absence. Jesus concluded the story with this application. Again, this is Luke chapter 12, verse 48. For everyone to whom much is given, from him much will be required. And to whom much has been committed, of him they will ask the more. Friend, let me put it to you this way. Greater light gives greater responsibility. You know a lot of good to do. So now, do it.